mixture of emotions between crying, excitement, awe, shock, um, definitely, you know, tears of joy. It's been a lifelong goal, dream, and to have that become a reality was uh, life-changing. Um, here we had individual meetings, and uh, my meeting, you know, came, and I was shaking, and then he told me. He met with everyone that day. Definitely, I think that um, most of us don't, that 10 first-time Olympians, we don't really know what to expect, and, you know, we hear stories and, and hear their reactions, and, and that's a way of kind of preparing ourselves. Uh, I remember Natalie said the other day that when she walked into opening ceremony, she just was crying, laughing, didn't, she had so many emotions, and I pictured that for her and how it happened with me, and I think that just having those veterans and that experience on the team not only helps for the distractions and the opening ceremonies and all that, but also for the games as well. I mean, it's great to have older players know what they're doing because it provides us with a little bit more reassurance and confidence, I think, in ourselves. I think that um, my high school gave me a lot of opportunities. My coaching staff and the caliber of players I played with helped to provide me with the, the knowledge of the game, the experience to be where I am right now. And so, I, I mean, I, I owe a lot to my, my high school and my team and my, my coaches there. So, I mean, it's a huge honor to, you know, not only represent my area, my high school, my club team, but, I mean, my country. So it's, it's awesome. Well, it was always a dream and a goal, and I, I knew that, you know, 2008 would be an option. And I just, I think that it was always in the back of my head, and that's, you know, part of what drove me to keep playing and pursue higher levels of water polo and you know I'm, I'm a product of the pipeline I, I started with the youth and the junior team so I, you know, I was playing with them as a freshman in, in high school and just kept you know plugging away at it and, and really enjoyed it and always wanted to reach the you know, Olympic team. Well, it's, it's really similar to, say, soccer. You know, someone who's left-footed has a better opportunity of scoring from the other side, you know, than a righty would on the other side of the, of the, the net. It, it's strong side. It's, you know, I'm not catching the ball cross face. I'm catching the ball right there, catch shoot, as compared to a righty that have to bring the ball all the way around. And it also provides me with um, the opportunities to set all the righties up because they're catching a strong side when I pass to them on the other side of the pool. It's more, for me, everyone. Like, there's not just one specific person. Like, I would love to meet a, a mixture of people, and, you know, some from the U.S., some from other countries, just from everywhere that really, you know, makes my Olympic experience that much better. I mean, it's not every day you get to go sit and have lunch with maybe someone from Russia or, you know, and I think that that would be an awesome experience to have that, that world experience, that cultural experience to really get to understand other cultures and other people. And I mean, even people from my own country that, you know, to play different sport and see what, what type of lifestyle they live as an athlete.